Hello guys, welcome to this fourth episode of the Build a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. In my previous episode, that is the third episode, I explained the database structure for the SQL Server database that I created for this project and in this episode, I will explain the stored procedures scripted for the CRUD operation. I will build the project from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before doing this current one. And as has been the case, uh, please go through the entire video to make the best out of it. And if you wish, you can skip the part of it which you feel you already know and the essential links and the SQL scripts you will find in the video description. I also request you to be the entire video again in all these episodes to get the best out of them and as always every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel with friends and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in uploads. So let's switch over to the learning outcomes. So by the end of this lecture, we shall have an insight into the create, retrieve, update and delete or CRUD stored procedures in the web app database and be able to create simple stored procedures that allow CRUD operations in a database as a byproduct. So let's switch over to now the SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm back to the SQL Server Management Studio and web API database that I have created that I have um, created previously and explained in the last lecture. And I have talked about the customer and order table structures. So let's see what are the state procedures. So as you can see, SP delete customer, SP delete order. So let's start with SP select customer and right click and uh, script the stored procedure as create to a new query editor just to see what the stored procedure is about. Now this is, I am understanding that you know the select, insert, update and delete queries. So that is the basic pre-requirement for this course. So once you know the CRUD queries, you know, basic queries, I, I shall be able to explain to you so how to create the stored procedures. So, now you can see that there is a stored procedure. Um, if you right click, create the stored procedure. If you wish to create a fresh stored procedure, this is how it looks like. It comes up with a pre this defined template. So template generated from template explorer. Okay, so a lot of things are there. So these are the comments with um, double dashes on the left hand side, author, create date and description and create procedure, procedure name but I have actually simplified this stuff so that you can easily understand it for those of you who have never created any stored procedure. So this is, you know, I have simplified and I have um, got rid of the uh, additional stuff, got rid of the uh, unnecessary stuff. So create procedure dbo dot sp select customer dbo is the schema. Okay. Um, so what happens is here, it's a simple select query. Basically, I have embedded the query within the procedure. Procedure. Okay, select ID, name, address, telephone, and email from DBO customer. So this was the query. Okay, so this is actually formalized into a stored procedure through uh, this statement syntax, create procedure, the procedure name as begin set no count on. So you don't need to bother about what do you mean by set no count on. You can leave this also and it will still work. Okay. And then when you begin a statement, you have to end it. So basically it is selecting from the customer table, all the fields. So similarly, uh, select customer by ID. If you click on, you can click on modify also without actually modifying. And that will be the, uh, you know, alter procedure rather than a create procedure. So alter procedure SP select customer by ID here. It is nothing but select all these columns from the 
customer table where id equals at the rate id now this id parameter at the rate this is supplied as an argument to the stored procedure so as you can see here add parameters for the stored procedure here this is an external par external parameters as we'll be later studying that you know it this stored procedure allows you to select the customer filter the customer by id okay and then similarly um, we have got sp insert into customer so if you click on modify it will come up with the statement with the with the stored procedure scripted and you can alter this stored procedure but i just wanted to explain so here for the insert statement you have got these fields uh, name address telephone and email so at the name at address at telephone at email and these are the data type with the field length okay as per the design of the table and then it is a pure actually uh, insert into statement insert into dbo.customer name comma address comma telephone comma email and then everything into a uh, embedded into a circular pair of circular braces then the values values are obtained from the parameters supplied at name at address at telephone and email all right then then end so similarly the update stored procedure is uh, select sp update customer uh, execute stored procedure uh, not execute stored procedure you can execute also but i would like to again go for modify just to script it so that you can understand this is a plain update statement so again the parameters are supplied from outside because you need to supply these parameters name address telephone as well as the id for a particular record to be updated so it's a plain update statement wrapped around a stored procedure like this okay and update dbo.customer set name equals at name so these are the uh, fields or columns for this customer table again if you forget just click on this and you can get through to the columns so name address telephone email okay so id doesn't need to be id actually is supplied with the, this parameter that is supplied to the stored procedure where id column is at the rate id okay so set if you understand an update uh, query you can easily um, wrap it around or encapsulate it with it update stored procedure and finally the sp delete customer okay so it is a pure delete statement alter procedure dbo dot sp delete customer with the customer id so again the id parameter is necessary at id int int integer and delete from dbo dot customer where id equals at the rate id so once you understand all the stored procedures for this customer table the delete the the, the, the crud stored procedure for the corresponding order table are exactly the same thing so sp delete order sp insert into order sp select order and sp select order by id and sp update order are following exactly the same procedure as we just Uh, learned about how to create the uh, stored procedure for the customer the only thing is that the column names will be changing say for example uh, wherever there are columns for the order table it will be uh, columns for the customer table it will be substituted by substituted by the uh, corresponding columns for the order table like for example let's see this one so alter procedure dbo dot sp select order so here these are the select statements select um, id customer id description order cost from dbo dot order okay so dbo is the schema you don't need to know much about the schema in order to uh, do it and this one dbo dot order when you create the new table it will automatically affix the default schema of dbo okay so order columns are again id customer id description and order cost so 
following exactly the same procedure you could easily create the crud stored procedure of any other table okay so in this lecture we have seen we have analyzed the stored procedure and we have uh, come to know how to create a simple stored procedure by following this pattern so the only prerequisite is that you should know the select um, update insert and delete queries so i will put a link to uh, uh, do some sql query practice if you'd like okay thank you